Night is a memoir written by Elie Wiesel, a Jewish writer and Nobel laureate. The book provides a harrowing account of Wiesel's experiences as a teenager during the Holocaust. Divided into nine sections, Night takes readers through Wiesel's journey from his peaceful life in Syed, a small town in Transylvania, to the horrors of concentration camps and the struggle for survival. The narrative begins with Wiesel's introduction to the Jewish faith and his deep devotion to it. He describes his close-knit community and the growing threat of anti-Semitism, as rumors of Nazi persecution start to circulate. Despite initial doubts and disbelief, the Jews of Syed eventually find themselves facing deportation to concentration camps. In the second part of the book, Wiesel and his family are forcibly transported to Auschwitz-Birkenau, one of the most notorious Nazi concentration camps. Upon arrival, they experience the dehumanizing process of selection, where SS officers separate the prisoners into those fit for labor and those destined for the gas chambers. Wiesel and his father manage to survive this initial selection and are assigned to forced labor. The subsequent sections of the book delve into the unimaginable horrors and atrocities that Wiesel witnesses and endures in the concentration camps. He describes the relentless physical and psychological abuse, the constant hunger, and the complete disregard for human life. Wiesel recounts the loss of his family members, the degradation of human dignity, and the gradual erosion of hope. Throughout the narrative, Wiesel grapples with his faith in God and the existence of evil. He questions how a benevolent God could allow such atrocities to occur and struggles to reconcile his religious beliefs with the horrors unfolding around him. The book raises profound philosophical and existential questions about the nature of humanity, faith, and the limits of human endurance in the face of extreme suffering. As the war nears its end, Wiesel and his father are transferred to Buchenwald concentration camp. However, the harsh conditions and lack of medical care take a toll on his father's health, and he becomes progressively weaker. Despite Wiesel's best efforts to care for him, his father ultimately succumbs to exhaustion, illness, and malnutrition. The final section of the book recounts Wiesel's liberation from Buchenwald by the Allied forces. Although physically free, Wiesel's liberation is bittersweet, as he reflects on the loss of his family and the irreparable damage done to his spirit. The book concludes with Wiesel's reflection on the importance of remembrance and the duty to bear witness to the Holocaust, ensuring that the memory of the victims and the lessons learned from this dark period of history are never forgotten. After the liberation of Buchenwald, Wiesel and the surviving prisoners are faced with the difficult task of rebuilding their lives. Wiesel recounts the challenges of adjusting to freedom and the overwhelming emotions of grief, guilt, and survivor's guilt that plague him. He also reflects on the indifference and disbelief encountered by survivors when sharing their stories, emphasizing the importance of speaking out against injustice and bearing witness to the Holocaust. Throughout Night, Wiesel provides vivid and haunting descriptions of the conditions and experiences in the concentration camps. He depicts the constant fear, the cruelty of the SS officers and camp officials, and the dehumanizing treatment of prisoners. Wiesel's narrative serves as a powerful testament to the atrocities committed during the Holocaust, aiming to ensure that such horrors are never repeated. The memoir also sheds light on the profound impact of the Holocaust on individual identity. Wiesel describes the loss of personal identity as prisoners are reduced to mere numbers, stripped of their names and individuality. He also explores the moral dilemmas faced by individuals in extreme circumstances, detailing instances where fellow prisoners betray each other for survival or succumb to their own desperation. Wiesel's writing style in Night is characterized by its simplicity, yet it is incredibly powerful in its ability to convey the depths of suffering and despair. The sparse and direct language allows readers to connect with the raw emotions and experiences described in the book, creating a deeply impactful reading experience. Knight has been widely recognized as a seminal work on the Holocaust, drawing attention to the atrocities committed and serving as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. 
It has become an essential read for Holocaust education and has sparked important discussions on the themes of memory, trauma, and the responsibilities of individuals and societies to confront and prevent genocide. Following his liberation from Buchenwald, Wiesel struggles with survivor's guilt and the weight of his experiences. He grapples with the notion that he survived while countless others perished, questioning why he was chosen to live. This survivor's guilt becomes a lifelong burden, shaping his perspective on life and compelling him to bear witness to the Holocaust through his writing. In the years following the war, Wiesel embarks on a journey of self-discovery and healing. He moves to France and dedicates himself to studying, becoming a journalist and later an acclaimed writer. Wiesel's works, including Night, explore the themes of trauma, memory, and the moral responsibility to prevent genocide. Throughout his life, Wiesel becomes an advocate for human rights and a voice against injustice. He speaks out against discrimination, violence, and oppression, drawing upon his own experiences to highlight the consequences of hatred and indifference. Wiesel's tireless efforts in promoting remembrance and tolerance earn him numerous honors, including the Nobel Peace Prize in 1986. In addition to his personal journey, Wiesel's memoir reflects the broader historical context of the Holocaust. It sheds light on the systematic genocide perpetrated by the Nazis, the complicity of some individuals and institutions, and the devastating impact on Jewish communities across Europe. Knight serves as a historical document, preserving the memory of the Holocaust and contributing to the collective understanding of this dark period in history. Beyond its historical significance, Knight is a deeply personal and introspective work. Wiesel's narration encompasses the loss of innocence, the erosion of faith, and the struggle to find meaning in the face of overwhelming tragedy. The memoir highlights the resilience of the human spirit and serves as a reminder of the power of hope and humanity in even the darkest times. Knight has had a profound impact on literature and has become a cornerstone of Holocaust literature. Wiesel's honest and haunting account of his experiences resonates with readers around the world, providing a deeply personal perspective on the Holocaust. The memoir's concise and powerful narrative style has influenced subsequent works of literature, emphasizing the importance of bearing witness to historical atrocities and giving voice to the silenced. The publication of Night also marked a turning point in Holocaust education and awareness. Wiesel's memoir became widely studied in schools and universities, serving as a primary source for understanding the Holocaust. Its inclusion in educational curricula has played a crucial role in fostering empathy, promoting tolerance, and ensuring that the memory of the Holocaust remains alive for future generations. Moreover, Knight has sparked important conversations about the nature of evil, the fragility of human morality, and the responsibilities of individuals in the face of injustice. Wiesel's reflections on faith, God, and theodicy have sparked theological debates and contributed to the broader discourse on religion and human suffering. The memoir has also prompted discussions on the ethics of representation and the challenges of accurately conveying the horrors of the Holocaust. Wiesel's decision to write about his experiences and the subsequent impact on his own life highlights the complexities and moral dilemmas faced by survivors in sharing their stories. In addition to its literary and educational significance, Knight has served as a catalyst for Holocaust remembrance and commemoration. Wiesel's advocacy work and his efforts to ensure that the Holocaust is not forgotten have made a lasting impact. Through his writings, speeches, and activism, Wiesel has dedicated himself to combating hatred, intolerance, and indifference. Knight explores the theme of memory and its significance in preserving the history of the Holocaust. Wiesel emphasizes the duty to remember and recounts his own struggle to keep the memories of the Holocaust alive. He recognizes that memory is not only a personal responsibility but also a collective one, urging society to confront the past and learn from its atrocities. The memoir also showcases the resilience of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable suffering. Despite the horrors he endures, 
Wiesel demonstrates a remarkable will to survive and a refusal to let despair consume him. Through his narrative, he highlights the strength and courage displayed by individuals in the most challenging circumstances. The enduring legacy of Knight extends far beyond the pages of the memoir itself. Wiesel's work as a writer, activist, and humanitarian has had a lasting impact on global conversations about human rights, genocide, and the pursuit of justice. His advocacy for peace and his call to prevent future atrocities continue to inspire individuals and organizations worldwide. In addition to the memoir's impact on Holocaust education, Knight has also influenced various artistic mediums. It has been adapted for the stage and screen, reaching broader audiences and ensuring the dissemination of its powerful message. These adaptations have further contributed to the cultural significance and continued relevance of Wiesel's memoir. Furthermore, Knight serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of indifference and the consequences of turning a blind eye to injustice. Wiesel's experiences and reflections prompt readers to critically examine their own roles in promoting empathy, understanding, and active resistance against oppression. Since its publication in 1958, Knight has received widespread acclaim and has been translated into numerous languages. The memoir has resonated with readers from various backgrounds, cultures, and generations, sparking important discussions on the Holocaust, human rights, and the enduring power of literature. Elie Wiesel, as the author and survivor, has continued to use his platform to advocate for justice, tolerance, and the prevention of genocide. He has spoken at countless events, universities, and forums, sharing his experiences and urging individuals to confront hatred and discrimination. Wiesel's impact as a public figure extends far beyond the pages of Night and has left a lasting imprint on the world. The significance of Wiesel's work extends beyond the Holocaust itself. Night has become a symbol of resistance against oppression, a call for empathy, and a reminder of the atrocities that can occur when prejudice is allowed to thrive. The memoir stands as a testament to the enduring power of storytelling in shedding light on the darkest aspects of humanity. In addition to his activism, Elie Wiesel was involved in various humanitarian efforts, working tirelessly to alleviate suffering in areas affected by conflict, genocide, and injustice. His commitment to promoting peace and defending the rights of all individuals has cemented his legacy as not just a survivor, but as a global humanitarian icon. Furthermore, Knight continues to be taught in educational institutions worldwide as part of Holocaust literature and human rights studies. Its inclusion in curricula ensures that the lessons of the Holocaust are passed down to future generations, fostering empathy, critical thinking, and a commitment to social justice. As we conclude the summary of Night by Elie Wiesel, we have explored the reception of the memoir, Wiesel's ongoing advocacy work, and the broader implications of his contribution to literature and human rights. It serves as a testament to the enduring power of his words and the importance of remembrance in preventing future atrocities. In conclusion, Night by Elie Wiesel is a profoundly powerful memoir that provides an unflinching account of the Holocaust and the indomitable spirit of those who endured its horrors. Through his honest and poignant storytelling, Wiesel takes readers on a journey through unimaginable suffering, loss, and the struggle for survival. The memoir serves as a crucial historical document, preserving the memory of the Holocaust and bearing witness to the atrocities committed. We must express our heartfelt gratitude to all the listeners for engaging with this summary of Night. Your willingness to delve into such challenging subject matter and your commitment to learning and understanding is commendable. We hope that this summary has shed light on the profound impact of Wiesel's memoir and has encouraged further exploration of the themes and lessons it offers. If you found this summary informative and thought-provoking, we kindly ask you to press the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you will ensure that you never miss out on future content that delves into important literary works, historical events, and thought-provoking discussions. Thank you once again for your attention and for being a part of this journey through Night by Elie Wiesel. 
May the memory of the Holocaust continue to serve as a reminder of the consequences of hatred and indifference, and may we always strive to create a world where such atrocities are never repeated.